Continuing on with the madness, I also saw breaking news of Tommy from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Tommy Lee? Is face, even though her man Scrappy just got out, she is now facing charges to go back into jail for, guess what, child abuse. Uh, she's facing 45 years for slamming her daughter into the lockers and slapping and choking her at school. Who knows what the daughter did, but it obviously upset Tommy enough to lose her damn mind at the high school and get arrested. It's Maybe the girl was being fresh. I'm That's thinking either pregnancy, reason. she got STD. It was obviously something crazy to make her snap like that because why else would she do A like- A visit to the principal's office? I, I will hope it's not something so silly as that. But you know, this, this is obviously a theme, as I said, for the week. And people are losing their damn minds, really. And you know, as a mother, you can hear our kids right now. I ain't trying to go to jail, ever, ever. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's rules to it because now we're in a, you know, a age, a, a society now in this time where you know, everything's sensitive. You know, we grew up traditionally like, get the belt, get the hanger, get the newspaper, get whatever you can to, to cut it out. You know, like we, we grew up like that. So to us, you know, when people are making it like, you know, like, oh, you know, the, the child is telling, you know, the officer that the mother is this and that. It's like, you know, some of these kids need their, you know, <laughs> need, need their reprimands. They need their discipline. And I am a firm believer of <laughs> discipline. And, you know, that's just me. You know, and I just think that, you know, I don't like that it's come to this point. You know, I don't think as a mother, you know, I, I believe, you know, you should not choke your kid out. Well, you know, it could be exaggerated in the story. We really don't know. We weren't there with her. Everybody, we weren't there with her. Allegedly. Allegedly, you know, but I'm sure she has her reason. Well, be. Tommy also had gone through, like, I guess a death of her boyfriend or friend or something like that. So I know depression falls, as you can see with R. Kelly and other people, when you are a hurt person, you hurt people. Hurt people hurt people. And I know, like, you were really um, getting a good connection with Sin this season on Love & Hip Hop with, like, her postpartum. Like, you could talk about that a little bit. I personally didn't have that happen to me. Yeah, walking down the street of Mona's Corner. Yes, Mona. Um, Mona, we love you, Mona, because you keep us so entertained. <laughs> My guilty shows is Love and Hip Hop, so we do watch it with you guys, and we keep up with all the updates. Sin, they just got engaged, so I'm sure she's in a great place, and they haven't shown the whole engagement and wedding yet. Wedding yet, but um, after you know having the baby again is yeah, like you said, something that I face. A lot of there's different postpartums, you know. If, from what I've seen, there's postpartum where you like have disconnection with your own kids, and then it's just like you know it's internalized with yourself, like you don't feel good enough. And I had a connection, I have a connection with my daughter, but it really came from me just feeling like, okay, now I have this baby, you know, my body's changing, like she said, my hormones are coming back and up and down and all over the place. It's not an excuse, you know. I don't feel like there's a big enough awareness to it. And, you know, I felt bad for her, you know, when she was crying and she was like under the sheets and she was, you know, telling Joseph, like, Joseph, you know, you, you just want to work. I just felt like it was me. It wasn't my partner that wasn't showing me anything. It wasn't my baby. It was just me. I feel like to help with that, you should do a lot of meditation. Um, you should do a lot of exercise, surround yourself with, you know, positive people, try to keep yourself busy, you know, read books. And you just need to give yourself time. Like, you just had right. a baby. It took, it took me a whole two years, I would say, to get back to feeling normal. Right. Like, two once you years. get to sleep, really, it'll mm -hmm. go away. Thank God I had you. We were pregnant at the same time. We were three months apart, which was like the craziest thing. It was like a blessing. It was like a blessing. It wasn't a curse, it was a blessing. Yeah, until I had to go in the labor and delivery room with her. <laughs> that. 
It was yes. a blessing that my niece came out, but I had to go through the depths of hell to see my niece. She, was, she came out with battle wounds, honey. <laughs> the midwives, the midwives don't get enough nurses. Credit. Yeah, literally. Shout out to all of you. <laughs> Anyone dealing with a hormonal woman pushing a baby out is God sent. Mm. And what else is going on more? I'm so happy that Candela and Joels are, you know, working out their legal situation with him and, you know, being on drugs and having those, um, that allegation yeah, of him. To be continued on that one. I don't even want to talk on that because I'm pretty sure that that is a dot, dot, dot to be continued. Flytees are now doing custom shirts. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out the page, they'll have it all exclusive for you. So we've closed a chapter on Mona's Corner. And I gotta tell you about Ming's rant. I gotta rant, I gotta tell you. You already know what happens every episode. I got something to say. I gotta get something off my chest. There ain't so nothing, something ain't settling with my spirit. Well, we know something ain't right with your spirit. <laughs> so let me tell you what happened. <laughs> let me tell you what happened the other day. Have you ever gotten food stolen from you at work. That's right, I'm talking about the food bandits of all food bandits. So I was at work, sister, okay, just minding my business. And I had some leftover Chinese food that I had bought from the previous day. I put it in the refrigerator and then I come to work and I can't find my food. Like, I'm looking all over and everything. I look in the trash can and tell me how I found like my food all like like remnants of my food that was eaten out of it was warmed up and everything it was like literally like burnt around the edges like super warmed up anyone that has dealt with a situation like that but it's happened multiple times there is a serial food bandit at my job and this person anonymously steals out of lunch boxes stole out of our supervisor's lunch box takes sips from your ginger ale i literally wrote like the whole office, I made an office email, okay? Subject title CC food bandits, okay? There's nothing worse than a hungry mama bear not able to eat her food during an eight hour day, nine hour day, 10 hour day, 12 hour day. Some of y'all be working forever and ever and ever. And you know what food does to you. I'm appalled. I've I'm had shocked. a whole lunchbox thrown away. I work with Big Brother. There's cameras freaking everywhere. So it doesn't matter. They don't care. They steal Bustello. They steal toilet paper, paper towels. People are just swiping, swiper, swipe, swiper, no swipey. Like, I'm putting, if you touch, you will die. I'll put Ebola, flu, causing diarrhea, nausea, all symptoms. If you touch, do not touch, lose your fingers, lose your hands. Yeah, people started bringing like, um, coolers to my job now so they don't have to put their food in the refrigerator like oh literally God. just lock and key by their foot I'm saying justice for all because you did not pay that ten dollars for that egg foo young okay so I think that you need to cash at me that money back okay because I need lunch for tomorrow or today at this point it's out of control it's out of control I wish you luck thank you Thank you. That's it for this episode. <laughs> episode three, Sister Cypher. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Hopefully next week it'll be a lot more fun and not so... Serious <laughs> awareness. We just got to cleanse ourselves, sage, holy water yourselves this weekend and start fresh and happy and brand new because it's 2019 and we're ready for big things. Stick around with us and... Just wait and see. Don't believe me, just watch. Yeah. We got more for you guys, so we hope you guys stay tuned. We're listening and watching with you. Bye. Mission. Lift off.